is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade, basketball analysis. I'm going. What is good, you to Quinn Wade, basketball analysis. Coming to y'all with a quick video. We're going to talk about Kyra Lewis Jr. out of Alabama. Another point guard in this draft. That potentially can go in the lottery or in that top 20, top 25, depending on what team wants him and what team really feel like he can be different than the other players in that range. And like I said, this is a wing and guard heavy draft. And Kyra Lewis is no different. But he's definitely one of the better players because of his upside you see a guy that can get to the basket basically at will at the college and high school level. You see a guy with a potential decent three-point shot in the future. You see a guy that can possibly have floater game in the future. You see a guy that can possibly do stop and pop mid-range in the future. And that's what the future is going to have to be if he wants to be something in the league. He's going to have to polish up his consistency of being a free throw shooter being a mid-range scorer and finding a way to have that three ball off the dribble while also being able to continue to be a great catch and shoot three-point shooter because that's important in today's game. And if he's going to be a starter, his playmaking isn't elite. It isn't great, especially in general. He, he's a guy that can find open shooters. He can find bigs and drop the ball to him or kick him out to shooters. But his passes are not where they need to be. But I'm not making a big deal out of it because he is still young and he is, you know, still growing into his own. So he got to get used to cuts. He got to get used to, you know, finding the open man, knowing when to score, knowing when to speed up and slow down. So that way you can get an accurate to decent shot or you can find your teammates getting an easier shot. And you just have to find them and deliver the ball when we're in an area where they can score and where it's clean. And that would be a high percentage shot. I like his drive game just because this is a guy that can be one minute getting the screen or one minute dribbling, and then he's right at the basket finishing. And you're going to have to have a skill set coming into the league if you want to be a guy that's going to get meaning for minutes. And one thing I can say, if you set him a good screen or he gives you a good crossover, the guy is good as he's just too good to not get to the basket and finish. It'd be different in the NBA because guys are going to be more prepared. Guys are more athletic and more mobile. And the bigs are a lot more mobile and faster at the NBA level. So he's not going to get as many easy finishes and easy looks. But it still is good that he can beat his man by himself off the dribble. And if he gets a mid-range game, it's going to be tough to guard him. Just because he can always knock down the mid-range. If you sag off of him, trying to make him stop him from getting to the paint. And if a big sag off of him, he can always do the same. Hit a floater or a mid-range to counter them. Not trying to, you know dribble they trying to stop him from dribbling all the way to the rim so they got to give up something and then the three-point shot that's something that all guards basically have to have at this point if they want to be guys that get a lot of minutes they have to be able to catch and shoot they have to be able to shoot it off the dribble and i feel like he has that potential to be special if he can continue to work on his game because it will be interesting to see can he shoot threes and mid-range at the NBA level because those are shots that they're going to give him because his main bread and butter is getting to the basket and, and you know, getting that first step on guys. So he's going to have to find a way to hit a counter on a lot of these defenders so that way he can have uh, multiple ways to score just in case they try to force him to do something he doesn't want to do. So I think those are the major keys. I like him in transition. He's a blur. Soon as he gets the ball ahead of you, you might as well give up because he's going to go right past you and just finish with a dunk. I like the fact that he doesn't try to lay in. I like the fact that he does try to finish strong above the rim because it's a higher percentage shot, in my personal opinion, when you're dunking compared to trying to beat somebody off the dribble and try to lay it in when he'll defense is coming because a dunk, at least you know you have a better chance of getting fouled if you dunk it 
the layup, you can still get to the rim and finish, but they can block it, they can contest it. But if you go for a dunk, majority of the time it's either going to be a good dunk or a foul just because they have to stop you completely from finishing. And I think that that's something that he can, he should continue to do if he wants to be a, a high efficient scorer at getting to the basket, try to finish above the rim. And he does have the speed and the athleticism to beat guys to spots and get advantages of, on bigs to sneak in baskets. I like the fact that he does play off the ball with the three point shot, but also with the cutting. He always finding ways to make sure his his, his opponent or the person that's guarding him is paying attention to him. Whether that's on and off the ball, he's showing that he can be a potential threat. And that can just raise his longevity in the league when guys know he can do multiple things and contribute multiple ways, especially offensively. The more versatile and dynamic that you are, the more chances you can get on the court and guys can mesh and, and really fit around you. And that's why those two things are going to be important because they're not only is he getting high percentage of easy baskets, he's keeping the defense you know, off balance because you don't know if he's going to come off the screen and try to drive or you don't know if he's going to cut to the basket or reroute itself to get in the spot of three. And that can really damage opponents because he shows that he can make those shots. It's just being able to do it at the NBA level is the only question that I have to see because he haven't done it at that level. Also, defense, not the greatest defender, not the strongest defender, not the, great, the greatest guy in the screen. Not the greatest guy trying to um, stay in front of his guy and trying to contest or even trying to make things difficult. Definitely not a great defender. I don't really see him being a great defender at the NBA level, but some people either have it or they don't. And that's something that's even um, for him. Another thing is that when you play in the point guard position in the NBA, you have so many great point guards that that could be a problem if he don't have the effort or energy or he just can't guard that position in general it could be tough for him to get meaningful minutes and meaningful opportunity, even if his offensive game is there. If you can't guard anybody, especially when you're going against Steph, the Kyries, the Kimbas that can get hot and go for 30 to 50 in a game, that's really going to show how long his career can be if he can guard his own position and score in multiple ways. Right now, he's a streaky shooter. Right now, he's a guy that's you know using his talent, his size, and his athleticism to make it. Now he has to maximize the other skills in his game to make it at the NBA level and become a productive player at that level. So for him, he has qualities of a guy that can be a decent starter. If he can improve his jump shot, if he can continuously shoot threes off the bounce and off the, off the dribble um, and catch and shoot. And he's a guy that is dynamic in transition, being able to get steals and finish around the basket, finish with dunks, but also put a lot of pressure on the defense just because he's so fast and so quick that it opens up things for his teammates in half court and in the open court. And I think that that's where he's going to get a lot of his plays and that's when he's going to get a lot of his opportunities just running and, and just beating people with, with effort, energy, but he's just lightning quick in general. So it's interesting to see how that athleticism and mobility – bodes well for him at the NBA level just because it's not going to be as big of an advantage as it is in college because guys are just as big and strong as him. So that advantage that he utilized a lot in college may not work at the NBA level, but it also may work if he learns how to shoot and put them in a pick your poison type of situation, giving up the jumper or giving up the layup or even just being able to cause a lot of chaos to where you can find guys open or they can move around and get open opportunities. He just will have to deliver the pass. And if he does, his team making it a lot of easy buckets and they can build up their confidence and they can build up their chemistry with him. And then it's just about getting the job done by winning and, and executing the offense, which he showed that he can be a decent guy at the top of the key, a decent guy that can create and a decent guy that can create for others. He just have to get more opportunity and more chances, especially at the NBA level to develop and grow and pan out the wrinkles in this game and try to become a productive player at worst. I do see him possibly being a, a, a guy that can stay on the bench and give you minutes as a seventh or eighth guy. Um, I don't really see him as a sixth man. I don't really see him as a, a starter um, currently in his, in his position and how he plays right now. He can possibly be a starter in the future, 
It just he has a little bit more development, a little bit more growth as a point guard and as a scorer before I can really see him taking the franchise key as the floor general. But other than that, I like Kyra Lewis. He's a decent player. Um, not the greatest player, not the most, you know, amazing player, but guy with a little bit of upside and ability to be a difference maker depending on how his shooting and how he can defend, but also if he can score at the NBA level and pass and find teammates when, when he needs to and deliver the pass accurately, which he cannot do right now. But like I said, the more minutes, the more opportunity, the more he has a chance to grow and develop and pan out his weaknesses, and he can be a decent starting level point guard in the future. But as right now coming into the league, I see him more of as a role player, more as a seventh or eighth guy on a good team. And that's not bad because you can make a lot of money and have a, a, a decent life. But it's also not where you want to be because you'd rather be a star or all-star caliber player. I just don't see it in him right now. But he can definitely be a decent player in the future. So Kyra Lewis, a guy that could possibly go in the first round um, lottery or a little bit after and still be a decent pickup for teams that's just looking for a cheap backup point guard that could be productive. Um, he can fit that bill. Other than that, check out my website and also playing on.com. Link in the description conversation below. Check out my Facebook page and also playing on.com. Link in the description conversation below. Like on Facebook to show support. Like the video. If you haven't liked the video already, please like and subscribe and share. Also, I make videos just like this every single day. Discussions. I do breakdowns of players, breakdowns of rookies, breakdowns of legends. And not only that, I do cover the draft, as you see, summer league, free agency, trade deadline, preseason preview, playoff predictions, and all of that. So if you love basketball, you can't get enough of you need that daily video every day. I got you covered on this channel. Quinn Wade, basketball analysis, I'm gone. And let me know what you guys think about Kyra Lewis and his future in the NBA draft in the comment section below. Quinn Wade, basketball analysis, I'm gone.